Hi, my name is Cami Craig. I am a three-time Olympian and former center um, with the U.S. women's water polo team. I compete in the 2008, 2012, and 2016 Olympic Games, where I won two gold medals and a silver medal. And I am a Ready, Set, Gold athlete. I am excited to share with you today how emotions um, played a pivotal role in my Olympic career. So um, in 2007, I was named to my first world championship team. And this was the first time that I was ever playing in a tournament of this caliber. And I'll never forget showing up to the venue that day. And it felt larger than life. Something bigger than I've ever experienced as an athlete. You know, I was used to playing at my high school pool where my mom and dad were sitting in the front row. And now I was at a major venue that just seemed huge. And I remember jumping in for my first practice and being so nervous, so nervous that I felt just disconnected from myself. Um, it was hard for me to think of simple communications or find the ball. I just felt like I was almost having an outer body experience. And when it came to the first game, my feelings were no different. I was so nervous that I felt like I was forgetting my name. Have you ever been that nervous before? Think of a time that you've been that nervous where it's taking all of this energy from you. So in that moment, I realized if I wanted to make the impact that I needed to make in the games, that I needed to control these nerves that I was feeling, that I needed to give that energy and focus back to myself. So the way that I did this was that night, I went back to my hotel room and I wrote down on a piece of paper what I knew to be true. Because that nervous voice in my mind was making me believe all of these things. You're not good enough, you're not ready, um, you're not prepared, um, you won't get the job done. It was making me believe things that I knew that were not true. So I took a moment to write down on a piece of paper what I knew to be true. I knew I was strong, I was smart, I was confident, and I was capable. And I wrote down those four things on a piece of paper, and then I folded up the paper nice and neat, and I stuck it in the pocket of my robe. Because during announcements for our next game, I was going to put on that robe, and as those nervous feelings and that voice in my head started to come up, I wanted to be able to stick my hand in my pocket and feel that piece of paper and remind myself that I was strong, I was smart, I was capable, and I was confident. So, as you know, emotions, they don't have an on and off switch. They come and they go, and it's how we manage them. So I'm gonna encourage you to write down on a piece of paper four statements that you know are true about you. They could be anything, even that you're courageous. I am courageous. Whatever that is to you, write them down, keep them with you, and as emotions arise, know that you can always access what you know to be true about yourself. I will also challenge you in our workout, as that voice pops up in your head and it tells you, I'm tired, I'm ready to give up, I'm done, that you know that you're strong and that you're capable and you'll make it through. Let's go. Welcome back. Looking forward to starting this workout with you. We're going to start here with a warm up. So think about if you guys have been sitting all day or just haven't had much movement. This is super important to start getting our muscles warmed up so that we can be open and nice and fluid in our movements as we go through our workout. So we're going to first start with skipping in place. Here we're going to bring our knees up. I like to do a little double bounce here. This speed is comfortable for me. So find a speed that's comfortable for you as you skip in place. That's it. Good job, guys. Stay with it. Good. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna move into the next exercise here. All right, we're gonna get a little fancy with our skip now. Uh, moving to our next exercise in the warm-up. We're gonna do A, B skips. So we're gonna come up A to side B. A, B, A, B. That's it. Find your rhythm here. Good. Three, two, and one. And we're gonna go to the other side here. A, B. Good. 
Again, find that rhythm that's comfortable for you as you move through this movement. Nice. All right, you guys, next exercise here is plank rotation. So we're gonna go into that push-up position, nice and solid in your core, engage your core, make sure your hips are tucked, and we're just going to open up and rotate here. Lifting your left hand up to the sky, nice and solid, alternating here. Again, make sure your core is nice and tight and you're engaged. Good. That's it. Make sure you guys are breathing as you make your way through these workouts. Nice. All right, rolling straight into our next exercise here. Still holding that plank, we're gonna go into plank jacks. So we're going to do a jumping jack movement with our legs as we hold that plank nice and solid in place. That's it. Again, find that rhythm that feels comfortable for you. Nice job, stay with it. Good. <laughs> awesome. Nice job, guys. You should be feeling nice and warm now, and we'll head into our workout. All right, guys, now that we're nice and warmed up, let's head into uh, the main portion of our workout. The theme of this workout is flexibility. And as an elite athlete, you have to be flexible. As an Olympian, you have to be flexible, right? Not only physically, but mentally. You have to be mentally flexible to deal with emotions, emotions that arise, and then allowing them to float away. All right, you guys, so this workout is gonna consist of 30 seconds of a flexibility workout and 30 seconds of cardio. We're gonna do four different sets, and we're gonna do that two times through. Stick with me here, and we got this. Let's get going. We're gonna start with a reverse lunge with a twist here. We're going to step back, big step back, into that lunge motion, and we're gonna twist over the leg that is in front of us. Come back to center, step back with the opposite leg, and twist over the leg that is forward. Come back to center, and find your rhythm here. As we lunge backwards, and rotate forward. Good. Stay nice and balanced here. Don't rush. It's not a race. It's just about doing these movements in a way that feels very solid to you. That's it. Last two seconds. Good. Awesome. Now we're gonna move into jump squats here. So again, we wanna sink our heels into the ground, sitting down like we're sitting in a chair, and exploding up. Good. That's it, stay with it. Make sure you're sinking into your heels and not too far onto your toes. Good. And as you explode up, throw those arms down. Good. That's it, stay with it here. Good. Awesome. Next exercise here, you guys, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge. And this time we're gonna reach up and stretch. The arm that we're reaching up is the same arm or the same arm as the leg behind us. Good. Find your way back to center, stepping back, and a nice full reach here. You should feel a good stretch all the way up the front of your leg and into your lats. That's it. Good. Make sure you guys are breathing through this. Last one here. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna go into burpees. Again, we're gonna fall into a push-up position. We're gonna tuck our legs underneath us, and we're gonna jump and reach all the way to the sky, okay? So here we go. Falling into a push-up position. Down, 
tuck our legs underneath us and jumping up to the sky. Out, push up, tuck, reach towards the sky. That's it. Good job, you guys. Stay tight in your core. Awesome. Good. Okay, moving into the next exercise here. We're gonna go into a figure four stretch. So bringing that ankle right above our knee and sitting back into it just a little bit. This takes some balance, you guys. So take your time as you're getting nice and settled into this stretch and allow yourself to sink in just enough to feel it. And then we're gonna alternate to the next leg. Good. Just take some focus here. We might be a little bit wobbly and that's okay. Good. Again, focus on your breath as you keep your balance and really open up your glute and your stretch. Good. Moving into jumping jacks now. Hitting that cardio, you guys. Stay with it, you're doing a great job. Nice. Keep your breath going and stay with it. That's it. If any emotions are arising, remember that you're capable and you can do this. That's it. Three, two, one. So moving into this next exer exercise, you guys here, we're gonna do a single leg RDL and we're gonna drive up with the opposite knee at the end. So we're gonna get nice and balanced in that left leg. We're gonna hinge at the hips down, keeping our chest up and driving that right leg up at the end. Again, hinging at the hips, nice and solid, driving up with that left leg, keeping our chest up as we hinge and drive. Sometimes it's helpful to find a focus point, find a spot on your floor, on the wall. Maybe you have a water bottle sitting in front of you. That helps me with keeping my balance. Good, you guys. Great, okay. We're gonna return to the cardio part of the, this exercise and we're gonna skip in place. So again, find your rhythm here. You can make it kind of like a fun little dance as you do it. <laughs> Whatever keeps you going. You guys got it here. Good job. Make sure you guys are breathing as you move through this. Good job, you guys. We have five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, you guys. You made it through that first full round. If you need to take a break, pause the video and come back. You're more than welcome to do so, even between each exercise. If you're needing a little bit of extra rest, give yourself that. It's not a competition here. We just wanna move and get our bodies going. Also, grab a glass of water. Make sure you guys are staying hydrated. All right, guys, we are in our second and last round. I am so proud of the effort that you guys are putting in. And I just wanna encourage you to stay with it as we move through this. So first exercise that we're gonna revisit here is reverse lunges with the twist. So big step back with the leg and we're gonna twist over the leg that's forward. Again, big step back, twisting over that leg that's forward. Again, making sure that our knee isn't traveling over that front toe. That's it. And find that speed that's comfortable to you. You don't wanna rush it and lose your balance or lose the integrity of the form that you guys have. You're doing great. Good. Awesome. Three, two, and one. Great, so we're gonna transition here into a jump squat. Again, sinking our heels into the ground. We're gonna sit back like we're sitting back into a chair and exploding up. Good. Keep your chest back and up. We don't wanna be leaning forward. Just like we're sitting nice into a chair and driving up. That's it, you guys. Good. Stay with it. 
good. Almost there. Awesome. All right, nice job, you guys. Moving into the next exercise here. We're gonna go reverse lunge with the reach. Again, it's important to make sure that you're keeping a nice, solid balance so that your form stays good. And don't worry if this is challenging for you this week. It's only gonna get easier. Next time you try this, you'll be a little bit more familiar with that movement and you'll, be, you'll find that it's gonna be easier. That's it, good job you guys. Back into the burpees. Not necessarily my favorite, but I know it needs to be done. So here we go, we're gonna drop into that push-up and we're gonna jump up into the sky and reach up. Drop into the push-up, tuck our legs, reach towards the sky. Again, find that rhythm that works for you. Know that you're only getting stronger here. Good. Awesome, you guys. Almost there. Good. Good job. Okay, you guys, halfway through our last round here. We're gonna grab our right ankle here and put it right above our knee, opposite knee, and we're gonna sit down into that figure four stretch. Again, take your time here. Breathe through it. The more we send a breath to our muscle, the more it expands open for us. And we tap into that flexibility we're looking for. Good. Nice, you guys. Again, if you're having a hard time staying balanced, maybe find one point on the ground that you can stare at. And it'll help you here. Good. Allowing your heart rate to drop just a little bit. Awesome, just in time to go into those jumping jacks, you guys. Here we go. Nice. Be nice and fluid with your movements. You find that rhythm. You're doing a great job. Awesome. Stay with me here. I don't want to do this alone. I need you. Let's go. Almost there. Good. All right, last two exercises here, you guys. We're gonna go into that single leg RDL again. We're driving up with the opposite leg. So again, plant your leg into the ground. You're gonna have a slight bend in your knee. We're hinging over at our hips, and then we're driving that opposite knee up. Hinging over at our hips, making sure that chest is up, and driving with that opposite leg. Good. This can be tricky, so find that spot on the ground that's helping you stay balanced. That's it. Good, you guys. Way to stay with it, almost there. Last one. Good. Then we're gonna go into our final cardio here. We're gonna skip in place. Again, find your rhythm. You can almost make it a dance. Figure out what feels good to you as we skip in place. Maybe you're faster and maybe you're a little bit slower. Wherever you're at is perfect for you. That's it. Good job, you guys. Final stretch here. Good. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This was so much fun. I see you, you're doing a great job. Stick with it and it's only gonna get easier. All right guys, nice job. Give yourself a round of applause on that. Um, let's take a moment now to cool down our body. So we warmed up, we had a great workout, and now it's time to cool it down. So we're gonna start here with a lunge stretch. Again, you're gonna take a nice step forward, place your knee down, and we're just gonna stretch forward here. Make sure your knee is not going over your toe. You can rest your hands on your knee and you should feel a nice long stretch right in the top of your leg. Good. 
As you sit here, you can sink just a little bit deeper as you get a little bit more comfortable. That's it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch legs here. So again, nice forward stretch out. Hands on your knees. And again, as you get more settled into this, you can stretch just a little bit farther. Good. All right, now we're gonna go into Cobra Stretch. So again, we're gonna lay flat on the ground here. You're gonna find your hands right underneath your shoulders, not too far forward and not too far back, but comfortably right on your shoulders. And we're gonna press up, make sure our shoulders are out of our ears, our chins up, sending it to the sky, getting a nice long stretch. Make sure you're taking nice deep breaths here, good. Again, check in with your shoulders. Make sure they're not in your ears and they're nice and low. That's it, good. And then bring yourself back down. We're gonna go into a pigeon stretch here. So again, we're gonna bring that right leg forward. We're gonna bend it right in front of us here. As far as you can do it, if, if, you're, if your leg is a little far back, that's okay, start from there. And you can hold yourself up here and get that nice stretch in your glute region. Good. If you want to go a little bit further, you can drop your forearms down to the ground. And feel that stretch just a little bit stronger there. And if you're not there, that's okay. You can stay up on your hands. Good. I'm gonna send that right leg back. I'm gonna bring that left leg forward again. Bring it up as where it feels comfortable. And feel that stretch into your glute there. Good. Keep returning to your breath, you guys. Send nice deep breaths into where you're feeling that stretch. Good. If you want, you can bring your forearms down to the ground. Just make that stretch just a little stronger. Good. Then we're gonna go ahead and find a seat here on the ground and we are going to bring our right leg over our left leg, bring our left arm over our right knee, and we're gonna rotate here for a stretch on our lower back. You can send your gaze over your right shoulder. You should feel a deeper stretch there. That's it, continue breathing. Just release everything that got fired up during that workout. Good. Awesome, we're gonna release here. Now bring that left leg over our right leg. Send your right arm over your left leg and that gaze over your shoulder. A nice twist in the lower back here. Continue breathing here. This is your time to loosen everything up and just relax after a great workout. Good. Awesome, then you can release here. Great job, you guys. You should feel really good about the work that you put in um, and look forward to working out with you again here at Ready, Set, Gold. I wanna send a big thank you to the Foundation for Global Sports Development and Sidewinder Films for the support that they're giving Ready, Set, Gold that is incredibly impactful and profound for the students that it's reaching. Thank you. Ready, Set, Gold 2021 Spring Series is powered by the Foundation for Global Sports Development and Sidewinder Films.